Now, this um, whole contest has been run under the rules set forth by Graceland. They started these competitions in 2007 uh, around the world with an ultimate in 2007 in Memphis because they decided, you know what, uh, the Elvis impersonator market was not giving the kind of respect to our man that he deserved. He deserved to be represented better than a bad Halloween costume. That's what Baz Luhrmann said. Baz Luhrmann, the director of the new Elvis movie, in an interview said something that I think we need to all remember. Elvis deserves to be more than a Halloween costume. And I have no respect for people that wear those. Don't get me started on that. Sorry. I won't. I don't care about politics, but you don't mess with Elvis. I can't do anything about the price of gas, but I can take that bad wig off your head, I'll tell you that. Okay. And if elected. But in 2007, Graceland started that competition to make sure that Elvis was treated with respect. They put rules in place, and since that time, they have been looking for tribute artists to be able to maintain that look and feel of Elvis. And our judges had the, a job that so many people in the audience have their own opinions. I don't know if you're on social media, Facebook or anything, but a lot of people have opinions about stuff. And, <laughs> and they'll let you know that. But uh, I just want to welcome and thank our judges, and uh, this is the opportunity that I have. I don't mess with them during the competition because they're focused on their job, but I want to hear from them tonight. And our first judge, Lee Shockey, is here, and we've, we've read your bio, and it's in the book, and everybody knows everything about you. But Lee, I don't know if you paid extra for the lighting uh, on you. There you are. There it is. It's going to you. But Lee, you've got a microphone, hopefully, that you can uh, say. If, I know you are back again as a judge, and I, I wonder if it gets harder or easier to become a judge. And I'm just going to continue to ask this question. There you go. I hear it. Is it on? You're, yeah. I hear you. Is it easier or harder to come back and do this again? It's never easy. Yeah. Ever. I mean, there's so many great ones. It's always difficult. I actually can't hear you up here. Uh, I have no monitor for the house, so... Um, you can't hear me? Now I can! <laughs> I said it's always difficult. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you being back to do this, and, and I've, I've sat in that chair before, and it's not easy. Also, we have here... Uh, Brooke Twiddell, who came in replacing Pat Kerr Tiger, we send our love, and, and, and Brooke, we, uh, we talked about you, and, and you work in PR and marketing, but you also have such a musical background of being a performer, being on stage. Um, what was something that you looked for in all the guys that were on stage that maybe somebody else would not see, because all of us have different things we look for, but you as a performer, as a musician? Um, oh, my. I'm sure you can hear me. Yeah. Um, you know, I looked for folks having fun, so this is a really great setup, and I loved to be able to have the monitors so that you could sort of go back and forth and um, see their movement on stage. Many, many of them, you know, just looked like they were having a blast yep. while completely um, bringing Elvis alive, and I appreciate that. That's great. Thank you. And that is, uh, you echo something. I was a judge at the Ultimate in 7, 8, and 9, and I sat, and Elvis fans, you guys remember and love, Joe Mascao and Joe Gershio. I sat between them. They put me between Maestro and, and, and Joe Mascao because they kept talking. And the number one thing, and you just said something, the number one thing they looked for in a tribute artist was a guy on stage having fun because that was Elvis. That was one of the things they looked for. And up there also, Lowell, I hope I have done you proud this week. My shoulder is going out from all this weight. I needed another ring. I needed something over here. I need a horseshoe on this hand to balance me out. But Lowell Hayes, the jeweler to the king, and uh, one of your rings, this ring, in fact, will be one of the presents and prizes that is presented to our winner here in Tupelo. Lowell, thank you for coming back. And you must have loved seeing this set from Alex because you were one of those judges from last year with Lee. Lee, 
that this was your guy here. Was yeah, he, he sure was. And he, he won it hands down last year. So what do you think about our contestants this year? Are you feeling good about it's, it's been really tough. I mean, I, I, I wish we could, I wish we could uh, elect all of them. Yeah. We'd have a good chance in Memphis if we had more than one. We have to choose, and you know, I hope we, I hope we did the right thing. God willing, we did. Yeah. Well, I, and I also, Lowell, I haven't seen you since January, but Lowell was a part of the birthday celebration at Graceland, and I, I interviewed um, a couple of people there during uh, Elvis' birthday celebration, and Lowell was one of those people, and he, we did about 30 minutes, and he was, uh, Lowell, you are an amazing speaker, and so funny, and have such great stories, and you had the crowd, like, on their feet laughing when it was over, and the next guest I had to bring out was Priscilla. And as she walked out, as we hugged, she whispered in my ear, I don't want to follow Lowell. <laughs> You were we, we had fun. We had a good time, yeah. didn't we? Well, we did have a good time, and we appreciate you being back in Tupelo, and thank you for, uh, for participating with one of your wonderful TCB rings for our Tupelo winner. He should wear it in, with pride. All right.